Welcome back to Park and Post. If you've ever had a bottle of water, sunscreen, or gift perfume confiscated at airport security, you're probably familiar with the 100 milliliter liquids rule. This restriction on the amount of gels, liquids, and pastes passengers can carry on planes has frustrated us for years. Well, I have awesome news. The era of tiny toiletry bottles is ending. In this video, I'll give you a deep dive into exactly how and when the 100 milliliter rule will be phased out, what the new security screening will involve, how to prepare yourself, and the huge benefits these changes will bring to make flying more convenient. Let's get started. First, a quick history lesson. The 100 milliliter rule was introduced globally in November 2006, after British authorities foiled a terrorist plot to blow up several US and Canada-bound airliners departing the UK using liquid explosives disguised as drinks. In response, authorities restricted the amounts of liquids allowed through security to minimize risks. Under the rules, all geals, liquids, and pastes had to be in individual containers 100 milliliter or less and fit in a single transparent resealable plastic bag no bigger than one liter. The aviation industry has lobbied extensively since then to lift the restriction to improve passenger experiences. Security equipment has advanced considerably, giving officials confidence to allow larger volumes while maintaining safety. The UK Department for Transport announced in 2022 that the 100 milliliter rule will be phased out over 2023 and 2024. From December 2023, duty-free stores at UK airports will be permitted to sell sealed bottles of liquids over 100 milliliter. Passengers traveling on routes with arrivals duty-free, like long-haul flights, will benefit first. Then, from June 2024, all passengers departing UK airports can carry liquids over 100 milliliter through security in their hand luggage. Larger liquids bought at airport shops beyond security will also be allowed on board flights. The current 100 milliliter limits will remain in place during this transition period. The EU is expected to follow a similar timeline, but individual countries could implement changes faster or slower. So, what can you take with you under the new rules? Once restrictions are lifted, you'll be able to take any volume of liquid, gel, or paste through security as long as containers fit in your one liter resealable plastic bag. This means items like full-size shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, contact lens solution and eye drop screams, moisturizers, sunblock, hand cramp perfumes, aftershaves, fragrance souvenir, bottles of alcohol like whiskey, unlimited baby food, milk and formula, water and other drinks to stay hydrated in flight. Dangerous items like knives, scissors, chemicals, and anything flammable will still be banned. And liquids over 350 milliliter won't be allowed for safety, except exempt medical supplies. So my concern is how will security screen larger volumes? Before we move on, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our latest travel tips and share this information with your friends and family. But let's get back to the topic. How to prepare for 100 milliliter liquid rules changing at UK airports. Guess what? Advanced 3 CT scanners will be key to lifting the limits. They use computed tomography to take detailed images that security staff can rotate and view from all angles on screen. The machines map the atomic makeup and density distribution of liquids, geals, and aerosols. This allows dangerous substances like explosive compounds and flammable liquids to be identified regardless of container size or shape. The scanners see inside bags and can detect threats, even if bottles are stacked together or concealed in electronics. Trials have shown high success rates, giving officials confidence to allow bigger volumes through. All major UK airports will install CT scanners during 2023. Smaller regional airports will get government funding assistance to upgrade equipment by mid-2024. Frequent travelers like you and me will reap huge rewards from this policy change. No more stressing about whether your cosmetics and toiletries comply with the limits. We can take our everyday full-size items in carry-on bags without sacrificing or replacing them. 
Contact lens wearers will find it much easier with no restrictions on contact lens fluids. And for sunscreen, you won't have to buy miniature bottles just for your trip. Parents can carry as much baby food and milk as needed, making travel with infants and toddlers smoother, and will all stay better hydrated with unlimited water. Duty-free shopping will be revolutionized, too. We can buy large souvenir bottles beyond security to take home. Plus, no more risk of gifts being confiscated if over 100 milliliter at your connecting flight. For airports, lifting limits opens opportunities to expand retail beyond security with exciting new products. Travel essentials like sunscreens, perfumes, and alcohol currently restricted can now be sold. But unfortunately, there are potential drawbacks. A small number of security experts have raised concerns about increased risks from relaxed restrictions. They worry flammable liquids could still be used to create incendiary devices once on board despite scanners. Chemical components that become dangerous when combined are another potential threat if passengers mix them in flight. Delays at busy periods that result in rushed screening could also allow prohibited items through. And even advanced scanners have limitations that may let some threats slip by undetected. That's why the changes will be phased in giving airports time to optimize use of the new equipment and staff training before limits are lifted completely. As we wrap up this enthralling exploration of how to prepare for 100 milliliter liquid rules changing at UK airports, keep in mind that by reserving your tickets online now, you can snag an exclusive savings on your upcoming flight. Make the most of our exceptional discount by clicking the link below this video. Here are some tips on getting ready for the upcoming changes. Review the expected timeframes. Restrictions won't vanish overnight. Check the hand luggage rules for your specific airport's pre-travel. Have resealable plastic bags ready to use at security. Allow extra time in case of longer screening queues during the transition. Don't assume rules have changed until advised at the airport. Watch for updated guidance as the new policies roll out. Check on medical exemptions if carrying large liquids. Enjoy travel without liquid anxieties once restrictions are lifted. The days of worrying about tiny liquid bottles at every flight are numbered. While 2023 will likely be a patchwork landscape of changing rules, by 2024 we can look forward to smooth, easy travel with no liquid limits. Let me know in the comments what products you're excited to take on trips once restrictions end. I'm keen to pack a full 200 milliliter of sunscreen. For now, stay up to date on the rules wherever you're traveling. Hit the like button and subscribe if you found this guide helpful. I'll keep posting as the regulations get updated over the next couple of years. Happy travels, everyone! Safe travels, and we'll catch you in the next video!